Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So I'm actually going to do something I have not done in a very, very long time. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing some PvP uh, before the end of um, the end of the arena week. Um, about a few hours ago, I actually set a proper defense. Like, um, I think like two hours ago or something like that, I, set, I actually set a proper defense. Um, and this actually isn't even a proper defense, but I, I decided to just put some random, random, uh, random monsters. Like this is my auto team that I use for, for um, autoing arena. Most of my fights I do are just are just auto. Like I, I literally just go in, and I, I basically I just pick on someone easy. Um, I go in, I, I just go full auto, and I usually win. Like very very rarely do I um, do I actually lose. But I'm, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to actually. Um, I'm going to, going to switch out some gems on on a few monsters. I do have um, 800,000 gold, and uh, I think some main like key PVP monsters. I definitely do want to do want to reorganize their their gems a little bit, um, and just try out some monsters for PVP. Mainly my water nightmare. I mean, I haven't really been treating her too well. I uh, I got her a very very long time ago. I made her evil evil two pretty much immediately, um, and I just slapped on some random gems on her. And I, I never like ever since I stopped doing t PVP. I haven't haven't um, haven't ever touched her ever. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually uh, I'm gonna put on put on some decent gems that she can use. I think that'll be that should be pretty good. Steven's one is pretty nice, but it has no resist. I do want some resist. Like if it's if it's if this monster is only gonna be for PvP, I definitely do want as much resist as possible. Like this one's pretty good. This one has like crit rate, attack, HP it's like main stat HP has six percent resist. Like this one's a defense one with nine percent resist, so this one's pretty good. Um, we got like two more HP ones. I should put like one slot defense, two slot HP. I think that should be a little bit better. I guess I'll use a protection set. I, although I do actually want to use a conviction set instead. But if I use a conviction set, it doesn't, doesn't really work because I only have, um, I only have these gems. So I, I think I'll just use a protection set. I think that'll be pretty good for her. Now, these three gems are not very good. Actually, this thing has like 17.5 crit, which is like, which is pretty rare on a on a, on any gym. You know, if I if I if I had that on my Thor, I could actually push put, push 100%. But he doesn't have a diamond slot. This one's got 19% crit damage, 8% resist. Not all that useful. Uh, this one's 8 8% resist. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to. I'm going to keep this one. I think this one's definitely worth keeping. The other two aren't really, aren't really worth keeping. Uh, but I don't like using five star gems, though. I guess I'll, I'll just lock this and I'll, I'll keep this one. I'll overlap the other two and just completely destroy it. Now I don't have too much gold to to mess around with our gems. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just basically use whatever I can. Um, I basically just want high resist, high HP, and high defense on her. Resist being the, 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 the main focus. Um, so I'm gonna put this one on, this one on, and I'm gonna use uh, this one I think, yes. Alright, so let's just overlap this one. This one's pretty pretty shitty. I, don't, I wouldn't feel too bad about um, just completely destroying it. This one's got seven percent. This one's got nine percent. So let's uh, let's overlap this one, and we'll overlap this one as well. All right. I mean, uh, we don't need to overlap that one. All right. Let's power up everything to um, I think ideally plus twelve, but I'm not sure I have enough gold to do that. So I'll, I'll get everything to plus nine first. And I'll upgrade whichever gem has the better roll to plus 12. Resist. Alright, I went to crit rate, which actually isn't too bad. 
I mean, I do like crit rate on a lot of a lot of my monsters. I do uh, think crit rate is the is the most effective way to just like increase damage. Uh, I went to that shitty flat attack stat. But the the best role on this gem would definitely be the resist. But I mean, it it is a um, a natural four substat gem, so it has a lot of potential to be pretty good. Come on, you can do it. Come on, give me some resist. You know, if I use this on a hybrid monster, like a bruiser monster, and it goes to like crit rate more. Oh shit, I went to attack twice. Well, we'll just pretend it, it was it, it was a two substat gym, alright? We'll just uh We'll just we'll just we're we're just gonna have to play pretend. Now this is a HP gem, but it has flat HP, so it's actually pretty good if it actually goes into flat HP because it means you can get that um, HP roll even higher. Okay, all the stats are bad except for these two. These two are, are definitely the better stats. The other two are pretty shitty, so... This gem is quite dangerous too. It can go to shit pretty easily. That gem just now was like really, really hard for it to go to shit, but then it, it rolled into the flat attack twice. Come on, resist! Alright, went to fly HP, which is better than these two, so it's pretty good. Flat HP on HP percent gems are really good. Like, it's it's one of the better substats. On Situationally, it could be the best substat. If you're using this on a monster that, like, really, really needs HP, that has, like, um... Like, for example, an HP Aggressor or a passive healer that has a heal that... Oh, nice, it went to resist. That, uh, that has a heal that scales with its own max HP. Then, uh, then that HP, flat HP is actually the most ideal substat on that gem, you know? Especially if it's a gem of life set. Like, a gem of life set with HP percent and, um, flat HP is really, really sick. But this one, this one, since it's a defense gem, um, it would have been better if it, if it, uh, if it goes to resist or crit rate instead. The, the worst roll would be the flat attack, which it just went into. I think I should be able to get everything to plus 12 and should be definitely be usable. Alright, nice. 14% resist. Now, uh, since I have everything at plus 9 now, I'm going to try to <coughs> try to push everything to plus 12. I'm not sure I'll have enough gold to do this, but uh, you know, hopefully I do. Hopefully upgrading this gem won't rate my wallet. Come on, resist. This is already a pretty good gem. It has 14% resist. Oh nice, 20% resist. That is... That is great. That is like... That is the best roll. Alright, if I can get some resist on this roll, that'd be pretty awesome too. Well, if it goes to flat HP again, it's it's actually pretty good. It's actually not that bad. As I explained earlier. But this this has like two really shitty substats, so it's super dangerous. Like it can go to it can go to shit pretty easily. It has a 50-50 chance to to go to shit. But even if it does, it already has 17 16% base resist, so it's or 16% resist here, so it's not it's already not that bad. Alright, went to recovery, which is, I guess, the shittiest roll. Hmm. I don't care too much about these HP, uh, HP defense sets. Because they're, they're HP and not, not, not like the actual defense. Like, if this was a gem of life, and it, it rolled, like, into a really shitty roll, I'd be pretty sad. Because it's, it's, like, gem of life HP percent is like the the ideal um, gems you know the, the main gem stat with the with the with the proper set you know so if, it, if the roll went to shit I'd be pretty sad 
Oh god, this thing went to attack three times. Alright, we're just gonna have to pretend it's a it's a one substat gem. It's actually not that bad that she got some flat attack because um, her base attack is really really low. So even with percent attack, it's not it's not gonna be too high. And she already has 60% resist here. If I push this, it's already 84. And I think it maxes out at 80, so I technically don't need even higher resist. Um, and I'm also out of gold, but that's perfectly fine. We're just we're just here to we're just gonna have fun today. We're gonna um, use her in arena, and you know something I haven't done in a very very long time. Let's find a proper team. Uh, this seems pretty damn strong. I mean, he is level 49 with a wood Leo, uh, light Victoria, light Yuki, who's a light dark monster, and water Persephone, who is like the the best monster in the game, basically. Um, so we're gonna, you know, I haven't. Oh my god, I haven't done this. I haven't. I haven't tried this in a very very long time. All right. I mean, I used to use my fire Arthur. But I think my Dark Victoria has some pretty good gems on her. I, sh I could actually use her. I like using a CC team. No, my my Siren's probably actually better. And then I can put in another tanky Dark Monster to to uh, to to, to, to kind of make them make them hit me basically. Who's tankier, my Victoria or my Thor? She has 4,400. My Thor is an evil 3 monster. He has 4,500, 2,800 defense. I mean, he's mostly an attacker as well, but... Uh, if I can get that first hit on them, I can do some serious damage. And also, I use the wrong color. I mean, I could one-shot this... I can one-shot her. I can seal her, one-shot her. And then, uh... And then I let Water Persephone do whatever the hell she wants. He can do whatever he wants. I mean, it's not that important. If he armor breaks me in the first turn, it's still fine. I mean, I could use my Dark Gatito, but it, it seems kind of risky. All right, let's let's try. Uh, let's let's use my Siren. Actually, no, my Siren's not built very well for arena. I think my Victoria will do a better job. All right, let's try this out. I think this should be this would be a pretty good team. Oh, I forgot my Thor and Victoria don't... Oh, my Victoria actually has a has some pretty high resist. Like, she has, like, 40-something resist from her substats. Um, what was the plan again? I kind of forgot. Yes, it was kill her. I think this should be able to kill her. And then it's a light bounty hunter. So I definitely do want to stun his ass. Oh, God. Now, do you want her to do a lot of damage, or do you want to get shocked? Alright, he might hit my Cupid or Victoria, and they have pretty high resist. I mean, all my monsters have, like, crazy high resist, so it's going to be a little bit hard to kill me. Oh, shit, wrong monster. I was, I was supposed to armor break him first. Well, he did actually die, so I guess it doesn't really matter. I don't want, I don't want to get attacked down, so I'm going to try to seal him. Okay, that didn't actually land. I guess I'll, I'll try to stun him. All right, I have my heal up, so I should be in a. I'm in a pretty good position. Um, now, Wood Leo is probably built really tanky. She's probably really annoying as well. I guess the best choice would be to just kill the Water Persephone. Yeah, and then I'll. Can I heal? Should I heal? I, I mean, she has one more turn of seal, so I, I guess I'll heal up. Damn, I'm pretty damn strong in PvP, I just noticed. I haven't, like, seriously PvP'd in a very long time. I guess I'll armor break her, and then I'll use the... I'll use, uh... The Nightmare to hit her. So she is sealed. I'm not too sure I can kill her, so I guess I'll just put some damage on this Leo. I'm pretty sure my Cupid won't, won't be able to kill her, because he, he's not even built with crit. And then I, now I can put armor break on them. Well, I, I guess he is he is kind of dead. Damn, Thor is so strong. Dark Thor is so damn strong. Like, he... 
uh, dark, just with his amount of attack that he has, and being dark, and having 100% armor break is like super OP. It doesn't even matter what his second skill is. Like, they're, they're mostly dead before that. Um, this guy's level 51. She's using a succubus leader. She has morale boost attack down, and water nightmare with two light victoria. So I guess this is a pretty good defense comp. Uh... What I'm actually going to do is... I mean, I could seal her, but there's a chance that she has pretty high resist. My Thor actually has really low resist, I think. I'm not too sure. Well, this has 7%. This one has no resist. This one has 26% resist. Alright, so he actually has some pretty high resist, too. I guess this is a pretty good PvP team. Yeah, this team is actually is actually really strong, you know? Like I I I uh I didn't notice how much resist I have on some of my substats. Now what was the plan again? I should probably kill her, but then she's only here for the leader. She's probably not that threatening, but she's also built she's also an attacker, so I can't just leave her alone and let her do whatever whatever she wants. And also need to seal the nightmare so she doesn't seal me. Because if she seals me, I'm in serious shit. So I guess I'll stun one Victoria armor breaker. And then just put some damage on her. It's the best I got. Alright, it feels like this Victoria has pretty low resist. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to seal her. I'm going to armor break this one. Put some damage on her with my Dark Victoria. Yeah, this one has higher resist. She actually resisted that. I'm actually going to kill her. I'm going to, I'm going to try to kill her. Oh god, it's an Odin. Oh shit. Oh, fuck that armor break. Ooh. Alright, she has her active. I need to kill her this, this turn. I think this should be enough damage. Yeah, Cupid is ridiculous. Like, he is just... So freaking broken. Uh, I guess I'll try to keep her sealed. And then I'll stun this Odin. That should be pretty good. I think my Thor might die. If my Thor dies, it's, it's whatever. Fuck it. Okay, my Thor didn't actually die. She has her heal. Um, maybe I can kill her before she gets her heal off. Alright, that's too bad. It didn't it didn't actually work. Maybe some combo damage will kill her. And then uh the o Odin can armor break. She's she actually is light, so she might do a, a little bit more damage on my Thor. And she it feels like the Odin has pretty high resist because she resisted that. And this Victoria has like super low resist. So she yeah, now I was I was I was correct. Alright, let me try to land armor break on at least one or two of them. And I'll nuke with my Thor. Yeah, he hits really damn hard. It's pretty sick. Okay, let's test out a different comp for my next fight. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use like a full offensive comp for my next fight. See if I can make the make the fight a little bit faster. So let's refresh. Let's let's find someone strong again. I actually don't know what the... Is this a... Wait, what What evolution level is this Indra? I can't tell. I, I, I don't I don't, I don't. don't know what the Evil 2 and 3 Indras look like. Alright, it's, like, it's an Evil 2 Indra. Garuda's have defense down 80% and elemental um, edge. Attack leader from, from her. And light siren. All right. Okay. I know. I know. I already know this comp is really damn strong. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go for a for a uh, offensive comp. Um, it is going to involve dark sea star for the crit, and then dark Gatito. Him for the armor break. I could use wood Gatito as well, but I, I I guess he's probably a little bit stronger. And I will, uh, I guess using her is pretty good as well. She has, she has 100% stun. 
and lots and lots of damage. The the plan is uh oh no wait no I got another idea. I need another strong attacker. I feel like my my Miho might do more damage than my C Star. All right, let me try this. Let me try this because he's he has some pretty strong attackers too. I'm gonna try to one shot his his guys, especially this one. I think uh, Gatito armor break plus C Star should be able to kill her. Okay, it's a it's a dark Gatito. Good thing I saved my uh, saved my nukes. Now he's dead. And now it's a, it's a 3v4, and I don't think he can kill me in one turn. Yeah, he, he wasn't able to kill me in one turn. So I'm going to armor break this uh, Victoria. And if I crit, I should be able to kill her. Mm, that is that is beautiful. Holy shit, I just one-shot that Garuda as well. Hey, this is pretty fun. Using a full offensive comp is a lot more fun than using a... A uh, de defensive one. I mean, my other comp was like super stable. Like I, I could probably fight almost like everything on the list with with that comp. But uh, this comp is so much more fun. Like, it, and the fight is really really short as well. This one is really interesting too. He he has a lot of CC. Um, so this guy has morale boost and shock. So if you ever let him get a full bar, he's going to be um, spamming this and. Yeah, it's it one is gonna do I mean he's he I think he's he is an attack type, so it's gonna do a little bit of damage. Um and if he lands shock, it's basically a two turn stun plus armor break, so you're pretty fucked if he ever gets that off. Um this this one also has shock, and then this one has stun, so that's a lot of CC. The ideal comp probably would have been to use my other one with like really high resist. Um but this one this one's not... I mean, I guess I could use it. Alright, let's 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 just try this. I should be able to one-shot that, uh... That bounty hunter. Or hunter. In one turn. Should be no problem. Oh my god, he res actually resists. If my Dark Sea start crit, he might die. Okay, it's another hunter. Oh, you, you, you sneaky, sneaky boy. All right. <laughs> so sneaky. Now, uh, if I land armor break, I should be able to kill her. It's a little bit risky, but I'm going to try it. All right. Oh my God, I didn't crit, but this should kill her. And then I'll, I'll put armor break in this guy first. Because he probably has lower resist. Th this guy's a tank. He most likely um, is built with higher resist. And since I have my morale boost, I might as well just uh, one-shot him. Damn, I, I need to ch change his gems. His stupid crit rate's, like, really low. Alright, I have two armor break. Okay, this guy's built with a shit ton of resist. Aw, oh, damn it. Alright, bye-bye. Yeah, I need to ch change my Gatito gems. His gems are absolute garbage right now. Um, What else we got? So, mu so much water nightmare. It's like freaking water nightmare meta. I don't even know what the meta is right now. Like, This is confusing. What? What is this? I mean, this is probably pretty strong, actually. I, light Sura? Yeah, because this is a defense lead. Like, this is a light defense lead. If I had, like, two light Victorias, I could do this as well. Dark Odin. Water Persephone Evil 3. Just all the Nat 5s, you know. Light, dark, Nat 5. Crazy, crazy shit. Um... Alright, alright. Uh, this one seems pretty strong. It's a Evil 3 Wood Leo with uh, Dark Sea Star. They're all, they're all Evil 3. And I think this Valk is... Is she Evil 2 or Evil 3? I can't tell. I don't, I don't really know what the, 
the Valks look like. Um, Alright, so this guy doesn't have any light. But... I, I kind of want to switch out my comp a little bit. Uh, I want to use... I want to use my Thor and my... My, uh... Medusa in the first... In, in the same team. But I don't have a good leader skill for them to use. Dark Sea Star. Oh, I could try a full light team as well. This is actually no, this is leader skill is actually garbage. Um I guess I'll just take a resist lead then. Or I can take this. I mean using using her is pretty much cheating, so I'll I'll just do this. And uh I'll do this. And yeah, we'll 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 go we'll go CC comp. How about how about that? CC comp and armor break. This would be a better comp. Like this would be a this would be a really good comp actually. Because I have two hundred percent CC and a hundred percent seal. So basically, I can like if most dark monsters have lower resist unless you're she's specifically built with high resist you can almost always land your CC or whatever type of debuff you want to land on them um, Granatus are usually like a little bit tankier uh, Leo is usually built with more defense so I guess I guess we fuck her up oh shit hmm, interesting alright then I'll stun this guy okay fine yeah, she's, she actually has some pretty high resist. I guess I'll just straight out kill her next turn. Since the Leo, I don't know how much res resist this guy has, but I'll, I'll test it out. Alright, he's... His resist is pretty low. This should kill her. Even if it doesn't, she gets stunned. Alright, so Dark Gatito definitely do need to stun him. Or, 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 or I could straight out kill him. Um... Don't know how much resist this guy has, but since the other two are sealed, I might as well just uh, just fuck him up, right? Wow, he's still alive. That is a pretty tanky wood deal. All right, time to time to fuck this guy up. Okay, I, I think I cheated. I shouldn't have used. I shouldn't have used my nightmare. I feel dirty. All right, I feel dirty. Okay, I got one last fight left. Um, there's 20 seconds. I'm gonna wait the 20 seconds and refresh my list. So I guess in the meantime, we can take a look at this. Ranking. What are these? What's the difference between all-time winners and like current winners? I guess current winners are. This is probably a more accurate list um, of the meta right now. So it's still Water Persephone heavy. I mean, she is the best, uh, best sustain you got in the game, right? That or use Wood Valks. Wood Valks actually have some pretty nice heals as well. Or you use both of them. And then there's some Dark Cupid um, users, but Dark Cupid's probably a lot harder to get. How the hell is this guy on the top list? Okay, these rankings make no sense, but I, I think this makes sense. Like the ones at the very, very top, like this actually makes sense. That he's, he's actually ranked really high. Stupid. Like they're all Granitus leads. I'll find the highest level one. This Banshee one with Wood Hana, or Light Hana, Dark Jack, I don't I don't feel like this is strong, but he is the highest level on the list, right? There's another one. Oh, Evil 3 Water Arthur with Light Siren, Shield Healer with, uh, with Morale Boost, and uh, Aggressor HP Lead. It's actually pretty strong. This one actually seems strong, even stronger. This one's like... This one's like all evil three. 
All right, I'll I guess I'll I'll test them out. I'll I'll use a I'll use a strong comp as well. This way I have sustain, heal, damage, everything I need. No aggressors though. I, I I'm not using yeah, aggressor meta is kind of like it's it's not it's not as strong anymore. It's still pretty good, but I, I think these are doing this is probably a little bit better. I can't wait till I get my Dark Victoria Evil 3. Because I can not only just use her in dragons, I can use her in PvP as well. It's or originally what I planned to use her for. Okay, so who do I fuck up first? Um First thing I gotta test is if can I steal this water nightmare? It's probably I I, I kinda guess that she's she's on pretty high resist. Guess we'll have to fuck this guy up while he's on pretty high resist as well. Damn. Alright, please don't land anything. Oh my god, they actually got defense down on this Cupid. I think he has like 60 something resist. Already. Uh, shit, this is bad. How did they actually put defense down on me? Can I kill this guy? Okay, no, I think he's dead. Oh shit, he lived. Oh god, I think I'm in trouble. How the fuck? Dude, I have like, almost max resist. Like, they are... They're actually able to do this. Oh my god. Please, be squishy. Yes, he's, she's super squishy. Maybe I should seal her, because she's about to use her AoE. Uh, even if I do see her, this is going to do a lot of damage. Oh nice, I resist and I I lived. Alright, uh... Fuck, I'm in so much trouble. I feel like he's probably tankier, so I guess I'll try to armor break her. Um... Alright, just, just, uh, just combo her face. I'll heal up a, a little bit with my... Water Nightmare. Please, just Cupid don't die. Everyone else can die. It's fine. Okay, this is GG. I win. Do you know why I win? Because I have a shield. And you don't. Fuck. Ah, eh, fuck it. I, we'll, we'll just, we'll just nuke, nuke his face. I think he's actually squishier. That, that Odin is so damn tanky. Yeah, shield's crazy OP. You're, you're you're pretty much fucked. Damn, that stupid heal. All right, I guess we'll we'll have to kill this Odin. Damn it, she keeps resisting. Like, what the hell is this? Okay, finally, finally got a stun on her. Okay, you're 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 pretty much screwed because I already have my shield with my Cupid. Okay, finally, finally, I I can kill her. Oh damn, this this fight was right. This guy is pretty damn strong. He is really strong. A lot of bad things could have happened, like... I, I could have potentially lost in a lot of cases, I think. If his AI was a little bit smarter, I think I, I would have gotten fucked pretty hard. Because he, he could have potentially killed my Cupid. Dude, that's Thor. <laughs> Thor nuke is so sick, he like jumps up, spins three times, slams his hammer on the ground. It's freaking sweet. Who says dark monsters are bad for PvP? You just gotta have some sick stats to like, boost their resist like insanely high. I find that resist isn't too hard to, to boost. You can definitely get it pretty high. Alright, so I'm in Challenger Tier 3. Um, it's highly unlikely that I, I'll get uh, I'll get booted down to a lower tier. So I guess this is where I'll stay for 
um, for for this week, and I'll be able to get a three three hundred astro gems by the end of this week. Um, I'll also I also caught a lot of the pinellos, so I'll be able to get a, another light dark egg, and hopefully my my light dark egg drought is like over, and I'll I'll start getting lightnings again. You know, my my uh, sick lightnings. I found that Nez actually always appears during guild battle times. Like whenever guild battles up, um, Nez appears. So I, I always try to get him twice, you know, every single day. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm gonna go back to farming now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, really enjoyed making this video. Um, if I like the the thing is, I I would really like to keep making these like PVP videos or um, or like weekly you know rush hour videos but the thing is it's the in order to for me to make these videos it's it's actually like I actually have to do, sacrifice quite a lot because I don't always have the time to um, you know keep doing these arena fights every single like you know every single day throughout the week so I think um, it would be a okay idea like once I get a little bit higher at the end of the week I can do these arena arena, re, arena videos and you know do like an arena fight. Um, I think it'll be a it'll, 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 it should be okay to make it make this a weekly series like every single um, you know hour or every single day before the reset if I'm if I'm not busy that week. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.